The following video is sponsored by InstantMaddenCoins.com. The only place to get Madden Coins instantly on every console and platform is InstantMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is up guys? Clickwood here back with another Madden 17 video and guys today We're gonna go and do something that's a little bit different on the channel kind of actually more like what I've done in the past with my Mythbusters videos So what we're actually doing here is we're gonna take a look at the strength attribute and uh, Going into this. I have no idea what is actually gonna happen here I haven't done any testing so the testing that you're gonna see in this video is actually what's happening so the very first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to change all of the offensive linemen for the Cowboys to have zero strength. So we're going to see kind of what happens for the Dallas Cowboys offensive line. All the other attributes that they have are remaining exactly the same, obviously other than their overall, which does go down. So the play that we're running is just a four verticals play. The computer is running a cover four defense, and we're going to see just kind of on, on average how long we have. Now, obviously, Von Miller against Doug Free. That's going to be a disaster if that actually happens in the Super Bowl, by the way. <laughs> but uh, other than that, though, take a look at how the offensive line is performing here. Now, it might seem like they're really getting in there fast, and obviously Von Miller did on that first snap. But take a look at the other guys on the line. Like, take a look at Zach Martin. He is just abusing this defensive tackle. Zach Martin, by the way, is your right guard there, number 70. Take a look at the way that he performs. And I think he's going up against Derek Wolf. So, obviously, again, Von Miller's getting in there, but what we want to do here is just figure out how much strength is really mattering, or if it is mattering at all. And, uh, obviously, other than Von Miller just destroying Doug Free there with that spin move over and over again, that's happening repeatedly. But take a look again at all the other offensive linemen, because they're all doing a really, really nice job. Now, obviously, this is a four-man pass rush, which is pretty common in Madden. Most people aren't sending five, six every single play. Um, sometimes you might even only send three. So, again... This is a kind of an average play, a cover four, where all the guys are dropping back into coverage. But you're seeing, for the most part, that the quarterback is getting pretty decent protection. I mean, certainly enough time that you would have the ability to get the ball off pretty quickly. So what we're seeing is basically that strength is not really significant. Um, it's definitely not making it so that the guys are just getting blasted immediately and pushed back into the quarterback. That's what I thought was probably going to happen when I started making this video, and that is not how it's turned out. Again, look at this. Look at this offensive line. That is so much time. All the guys were almost to the end zone by the time that I got hit. That's 30 yards down the field by the time that they're by your by the time you're getting hit. That is a long ass time. So, I mean, it's definitely enough protection here. The Cowboys offensive line is obviously the best in the game, other than the fact that Doug Free is terrible. But uh, everybody else on the offensive line is pretty damn good. So, again, we're seeing basically strength does not really play a huge factor here, at least in the passing game. So in addition to the pass protection, I also wanted to take a look and see if it mattered for running the ball. So what I'm doing here is running an inside zone. Uh, again, Pretty simplistic. The only thing that you're seeing there is obviously that the offensive line uh, has zero strength. So Ezekiel Elliott's going to make some nice cuts here. This is a computer running. It looks like I'm using it, but I am not. I, I allowed the computer to run this. And you can see he's picking up pretty decent yardage. You would think that an offensive line that has literally zero strength across the board is going to have trouble. But take a look at those guys. Take a look at Travis Frederick. Take a look at Zach Martin. They're pushing these guys back. And obviously, Ezekiel Elliott there. That is a ridiculous cut, by the way. If he actually did that in a game against me at the computer, I would have probably raged. But again... Watch the offensive line. Look at the push that they're getting. They're pushing these guys back with zero strength. Strength is not playing a factor in this offensive line performing. So what I also wanted to do here, guys, is obviously do the opposite. I also wanted to take a look and see what would happen if the offensive line had 99 strength and see if there was any you know, noticeable difference between the two. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. So here you guys go. We're taking the strength and pulling it all the way up to be a 99. And you're going to see, by the way, guys, if you go in and try this test out yourself, and you can do this obviously within the regular uh, game editing rosters, 
you're going to actually see that the overalls change pretty significantly for each of these guys when you do it. Uh, and we'll get into that in just a moment. But take a look here. Obviously, the protection's a little bit better, but uh, I think that's just happenstance. Uh, Doug Free's not just getting completely obliterated by the spin move, but there he is getting obliterated by the spin move right there. So obviously, it's not making a substantial difference. All the other guys are pretty much performing pretty damn well against this defensive line. Denver's defense is very good, by the way. These guys aren't just a bunch of slouches. So I wanted to keep, again, every attribute the same other than their strength. And take a look at that, man. All the strength in the world is... It, it really doesn't make a whole lot of difference. You're seeing that regardless of the strength, they're pretty much performing fairly similarly to one another. Again, we had plenty of time when we had zero strength for our offensive line. You might be able to make a case that it looks a little bit better, but look at that. 99 strength and Zach Martin just got thrown on his ass by Derek Wolf there. So to me, I'm not really seeing any sort of substantial difference. I mean, maybe if you went in and actually like broke down the fractions of a second that it takes for the guys to get to the quarterback, you might be able to see like a slight difference. But at least to me, I would definitely not invest in strength in offensive line. I don't think that this matters one freaking bit. And we're going to take a look now at the running backs uh, again and see kind of how they're that the running game, I should say, and see kind of how they're performing. But it's very, very important, I think, to note that you're not getting better pass protection by better, having better strength. You're getting basically the exact same uh, performance from the offensive line, whether they have zero strength or all the way maxed out at 99 strength. It makes absolutely no difference. So that is definitely something you want to take a look at when you're building your mutt teams and when you're drafting for draft champions. And obviously, when you're building a salary cap lineup, if you're somebody that is trying to get into uh, the tournament there, and uh, I forget where they're, they're having the next tournament, but the next EA tournament, don't spend salary cap dollars on linemen because they have better strength. It's not worth it. So here is, again, uh, the running game. Again, we're running the same inside zone play. He's going to perform pretty much the same. Uh, so obviously, again, guys, big thing is just don't invest in strength. But I do want to point out one thing. The overalls change sig significantly for these guys. Uh, when when you use Tyron Smith and you put him at a, uh, at a zero for strength, he drops all the way down to a 78 overall. If you put him at 99 strength, he goes up to a 98 overall. So that's a 20 difference in overall attribute. That is a huge, huge difference. So to me, I would definitely not buy into the strength. I, I just don't think it's worth it. And obviously, you're going to see it with your mutt cards as well. If a guy has really high strength, if he has really high awareness, you're going to see that his overall attribute goes up substantially. But from what I've seen only attributes that seem to matter for offensive linemen are pass blocking and run blocking. You could maybe make a case for some things like, let's say, impact blocking. I think we've seen some of that matter. Um, and, and maybe you could make a case for things like speed and acceleration if you like to run sweeps and things like that to the outside and you need your offensive linemen to get around the edge and down the field. But other than that, man, like strength, awareness, all that kind of stuff, it's just completely irrelevant. Don't invest in it. It's a big ripoff. I really, really am bothered by this. And I felt like we needed to get this information out because I was quite surprised by it because I've been telling people for years that strength matters. Um, and I finally just decided to test it to myself because people were saying, I, I had a couple people were saying like strength is the thing that they actually look for most in an offensive lineman. I had people commenting that to me on Twitter and in YouTube comments. And I was like, I don't think that that would be the most important thing. I think that it matters, but I would rather have pass blocking and run blocking. Turns out it's really the only thing that matters. So again, guys, that is the video. I'm not going to run it to 10 minutes and, and throw in an extra ad. I know I could, but uh, that is going to be the end of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to drop a like on the video if you did enjoy it and you want to see more of this kind of stuff. I have some other ideas in mind to really kind of figure out whether some of this stuff matters in the game or not. Maybe we'll do a defensive line one and see if that has any, any sort of importance to it. I don't know. But uh, let me know in the comments section below, guys, if you enjoy these type of videos. And share it as well. If you can share it on the Mudhead forum, on the Reddit, anything like that, uh, get this information out. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.